All right, number two, graph the equation. And we've been given y equals 6. So you might notice something different about this equation versus number one. Here, in number two, we only have a single variable. We're only working with y. Whereas in number question number one, we had an x and a y. With equations that only have a single variable, so y equals some number or x equals some number, don't make these any more difficult than they have to be. If you're asked to graph an equation with just a single variable, there's really no work involved with these. All you're going to do is go to the axis that you've been given. And so in this case, we were given y equals 6. So go to the y-axis, your vertical axis, plot the uh, a point rather at the number that they give you. So we're going to plot a point at 6. And a y equals some number is going to be a horizontal line. And so we will just simply draw a horizontal line through that point. If we were given x equals some number, you're going to go to the x-axis. So let's say, for example, we were given x equals, I don't know, how about negative 3? Go to the number you've been given on this axis. So go to the x-axis, go to negative 3, plot a point. And all x equals some number equations are going to be vertical lines. And so x equals negative 3, you would go to negative 3, drop a point, and then simply drop a vertical line through that point. All right, so no work. You don't have to set up a t-table. You don't have to rearrange uh, these equations into anything. As soon as you see a, an equation that just has a single variable, you know right away it's either going to be a horizontal line if it's y or a vertical line if it's x. Simply go to the number that you've been given on that uh, the, the respective axis, put a point, and then either draw a horizontal or vertical line depending on uh, what, what axis you're working with. All right, so there is, and I guess let me go ahead and clear the graph. Um, there is number six, y equals six. There's our line.